Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. This is actually going to be another premiere video, which I'm probably going to premiere at like 12.30 at night. Uh, probably 12.30 a.m. or something like that. I'll have to decide what time I want to release it to you guys. But this is for the EP review <clears throat> for the fourth. Well... I wouldn't say it's part of the studio albums for Dream Theater's discography, but I wanted to review it because it's their only extended play. So this is for A Change of Seasons that I'm going to be reviewing. <coughs> Sorry about my throat. It's just I ate some mac and cheese and then, I don't know, my throat got really dry for some reason. But I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this Dream Theater, A Change of Seasons EP, and let you know what I thought of it. So let's dive into this review. Now, sorry that I coughed for a moment. I'm, my throat's a little dry recently because of me eating. It just, I don't know, my throat got very dry for some reason. It was weird. But what I think of this EP overall... I think it's really good. There are live uh, performances, like, meaning the cover tracks were live performance ones, and the Change of Season song, the 23 minute song, is apparently uh, a regular song. But the last four songs are just live versions of cover songs that they did. They did a lot of covers for this Change of Seasons EP. But I did enjoy the first track, Change of Seasons. A uh, Change of Seasons, I should say. There's seven sections of the song. There's the Crimson Sunrise, which is an instrumental. Very good section. Uh, then comes the Innocence. The second section of the song, the next part to it, which is really good. I give that a 5 out of 5 as well. Pretty much after that is part 3, Carpe Diem, and that was really good, 5 out of 5. Um, the Darkest of Winters is an instrumental, 5 out of 5. Another World's like the mellow section to the, or mellow part of the song. And it didn't sound so bad, so I would give it a 5 out of 5, too. So, the last two ones are Part 6 and Part 7, which is the Inevitable Summer Instrumental, and that was really good, 5 out of 5. And also, uh, Part 7, the final closing part of the, to the song itself, is the Crimson Sunset, and that did very well. So, I was really surprised. And 5 out of 5 for that one. So pretty much the whole A Change of Season songs is getting a 5 out of 5. Funeral for a Friend is like a instrumental, I guess you could say. An intro instrumental kind of song. And it did very well for what it went for. Sorry, I was petting my cat for a moment. Um, Love Lies Bleeding is an Elton John cover that they did. And that was a good cover. I was not that disappointed. Uh, it's a live version. So uh, they actually sounded good live, to be honest. Uh, this was in 1995, of course. And this was around the time I was born, uh, which was in September of that year. So I wasn't born when they did release this EP. It was four days before my, before I, uh, came into this world or whatever you could say. <laughs> sorry, that may sound a little weird. I'm sorry about that. Um, but Perfect Strangers is a really good one. Five out of five. It's a live version and it did very well. Um, I was really pleased with the Stream Theater, uh, EP release. And, um, yeah, it was a deep purple cover that they did, but they did a really good job on it. 
uh, the Led Zeppelin cover for the Rover, Achilles Slash Stand, the song remains the same. Really good. Five out of five. Maybe the song remains the same. I don't know if I'm familiar to liking it, but it still did good for what it went for. And finally, the big medley. This one's going to have to get a four out of five because there's three, five out of fives are going to be for In the Flesh, Pink Floyd, Carry On Wayward Son, and Bohemian Rhapsody, the covers for those. The last three didn't perform very well. To close this, I, I just wasn't sure if I was liking the last three sections of the song with Love and Touch and Squeezin being the weakest, to be honest. It, it got a 4 out of 5, in my opinion. And then Cruise Control got a 4.5 out of 5, like a 4.5 out of 5. And also Turn It On Again, the Genesis cover they did, was a 4.5 out of 5. They were trying to speed it up towards the end of the song so they can finish the last two parts of the song. So, I think for what this went for, a change of seasons, production, mixing, and execution did very good. I was really pleased with it. So, overall, I think Dream Theater's A Change of Seasons EP was a really good extended play. Highly recommend you check it out. It did come out. Uh, its official release date was September 19th of 1995. So, it's quite old, but... I still enjoyed it for what it went for. So for a score, I'm going to give Dream Theaters A Change of Seasons Extended Play a 9 out of 10. This was good. Really good. And I definitely see myself returning to this. Definitely. Probably in the future sometime. I got to see if they have it on physical copy. I'm not 100% sure. But I am going to be planning on buying the new A View from the Top of the World album, because I did listen to the album, I don't want to give my opinion on it yet, until the 21st, so you'll have to wait till then, or at least by the 22nd, when I actually review it, because I want to wait to review it, I don't want to get in serious trouble by YouTube on reviewing something that hasn't come out yet but you guys will enjoy the review when I release it but comment below let me know what you guys thought of this EP review for Dream Theater's A Change of Seasons if you've heard this EP and if you like this extended play review I made for you guys tonight and it will be a premiere video comment below and let me know your thoughts on it Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I guess I'll return to you for a movie review tomorrow. I don't know when I'll do it. It just depends on when I come around to it. I think it's going to be for the Kate movie. And then after that it's Cry Macho. And yeah. I'll review Jake Gyllenhaal's The Guilty. I think is what it's called. And then after that, it's Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Uh, so I'm almost caught up with the new releases. Uh, it's going to be a few more movies, but I'll eventually get caught up to the October releases in due time. But stay safe. Take care. I hope you found this review to be enjoyable. Did the best I could to make it as good as possible. And as always, I will see you in my next review, which should be tomorrow sometime. So I'll see you in the next video.